Give me another one. Give me something else that, that helps people just start a conversation, because I agree with you that so many Christians get caught up in, in the gospel of rightness. Yeah. I'm right and you're wrong. Yeah. And that is going to absolutely turn people off instantaneously. Right, right. And they're going to go somewhere else. Trust me, it's not yeah. the message of Jesus Christ. Many times it's us that gets in the way. God does not tell us to argue anybody into the kingdom. He tells us to give an answer with meekness and fear, That's gentleness right. and respect. Amen. I'll tell you a real world example. I'm on a Please. live call in television show. The host was a black man named Lincoln. He was not a Christian. And he's taking some shots at me. Well, you Christians think this and you Christians think that. Yeah. I'm not a super patient guy. I've got my rough edges. And uh, <laughs> after about, about 10 minutes of this, I finally said to him, I said, Lincoln, would you give me the freedom to make a statement that I don't agree with, but it is consistent with your worldview yeah. and promise to not get mad at me? And he kind of looked at me weird and said, okay. I said, Lincoln, who do you think you are to question me? You are a black man. Uh -huh. You are closer to the missing link than I am. I am a white man. I am more highly evolved Ooh. than you are. Yeah. Ooh. You talk about dead air? Oh, yeah. brother, it was dead air. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got dead air right here, too. <laughs> <It's dead> air. <laughs> <laughs> but now, but here, here's what I came back at him. I said, Lincoln, here's the pr problem. Your worldview teaches that. I don't care if you like it or agree with it. Yeah. That's exactly what evolution teaches, is that the blacks are closer to the missing link than the whites are more highly evolved. Now, you want my morality, but you don't want my God. I don't believe that because God said, 1 Corinthians 15, right. 45, first man, Adam. That means everybody on this planet goes back to one man. Right. Uh, Genesis 3, 20, Eve was called Eve because she was mother of all living. Therefore, everybody goes back to one woman. Acts 17, 26, Bible says we're all of one blood. There's not different races. There's mm -hmm. one race, the human race. And what we see in the world around us shows that that's absolutely true. Science, right. say, science is saying that now. We all go back to one man and one woman. I say be patient, give science time. They'll catch up to reality. Amen. But you okay. cannot have my morality without my God. Amen. And we have to challenge people like that gently. Amen. That's not disrespectful. Yeah. It's a challenge. Tell me about this website, The Veracity Project. What, what is this? I right. called it up on my computer. Is this something that people can use as a resource yeah, this, for help? They're a friend, uh, they're a great friend of mine. We've been working on a, a, a number of projects and one of them is called uh, Debunked mm -hmm. and uh, Debunked Arc. Um, when you go there, uh, I call it dirty jobs meets myth busters, okay? Uh -huh. the, the younger generation has a, a 2.5 uh, second attention span. That's and right. so if you're going to go after them, you've got to come at them fast paced jabbing them. Well, what about that? How could you fit all the animals on the boat? Well, debunked is four and a half minutes, fast paced, boom, 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 taking shots at folks to get them to realize that when you start with the word of God, We've got answers. The Bible is not a little rinky-dinky, uh, doesn't show the, uh, the ark as a rinky-dinky boat. It gives us the real dimensions. Okay. So we've, uh, we've been working together to create a whole series of these debunked, and we actually want to pitch it as a Christian television show, yeah. having a host saying, hey, look, guys, let's debunk the bunk. Here's a bunch of bunk in the world, but the Word of God, when you start with it, has answers. Yeah. So go to the Veracity Project. I actually just called up mm -hmm. and, and put debunked ark and... Uh, what, does it call up a little video or something yep, that you, you can, can see click a, on? You can see a segment of it, uh, okay. the debunked art. There's a, but there's a lot of great stuff up there. So Good. take advantage. They're great tools to use with the younger generation. Yeah. Reasons for hope. Give yes, me sir. another reason to hope. Well, oh boy, reasons for hope. The ultimate reason is Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you want to really be hope to somebody in this world, you've got to do what God called us to do, which is to be prepared to give that answer. We've got to study to show ourselves approved because ultimately we're living in a world that is looking everywhere for hope. They're looking to, to uh, come on, we spend a billion dollars a year to cut stuff off, to suck stuff out, to stuff something in <laughs> so that we can look like something that doesn't even exist. It's not even reality. Correct. You see the billboards, it's not reality. Correct. And we want to look like that because that's when we think that we're going to have value in our worth. Our value in our worth is not based in what we look like, what we bring to the plate, how strong we are. Any of that is based in that God loved us while we were yet sinners and died Amen. on a cross for us. And when you start with the Word of God, what we see in the world absolutely is consistent with that. Reasons for Hope is here to show folks that the Word of God is real, and when you start with it, you can have hope and you can be hope. Amen. Good word. Paul Kirby. Thank you. Oh, thank you, my friend. And I can tell you for a fact, that's what this network is all about. 37 years ago, my folks started in a little studio about the size of the restroom in this building, about three miles from here. And that's truly what TBN is all about. We want to give you reasons for hope that Jesus Christ died on a cross for you. And this signal tonight is literally, I don't know if you guys even realize it, I didn't even mention, 
But my folks took that scripture, go into all the world and preach the gospel. This signal from this studio tonight is literally encompassing planet Earth right wow. now. Wow. And there is no place on the planet that you cannot get this signal somehow through the internet, through a dish, through a cable system, something. And uh, it's all thanks to you and to you who have loved this ministry, prayed for this ministry, supported this ministry. We want people to come and believe in this hope Thank that you. we've been talking about tonight. Thank you, Carl, for your good words.